Okay, so it's July 16th. John Mayer released a new album today, so it's a great day. Um, and I am going to go tour an apartment because yeah, our lease is up here in a few months. I kind of want to move, yeah. I'm just going to check out options. So I'm going to go tour a place that's like a bigger complex and just see um, what it's like because it's one of those places that things are available all the time. So it would be an option come October even. So I just feel better like seeing what's out there. So let's go do that. Okay, so here is the first place. As you can see, it is kind of small. It's a one bedroom, so it's just like this little galley kitchen thing, which was super modern and cool looking. I really like that. And then this bedroom, which had a built-in thing that I think is cool, but I have furniture, so I kind of didn't love that that was there. Um, yeah, this bedroom was pretty small. It like could fit the bed and that's it. Like it couldn't fit a desk or any anything like that but cool looking right like it is pretty cool um it just definitely was small but the high ceilings were nice right like that is pretty cool the bathroom was nice all very updated yeah the kitchen was cool this was a different unit that was lower but i like the sleek design of the kitchen i thought that was nice um living area yeah just not really a whole lot of space for how much it cost i felt okay so that complex i liked the complex it was nice to have cool rooftop with like lounge area and stuff the first apartment was just so dark because it was on the first floor facing inside the building so i don't i would not rent that um but the second one was a lot brighter it actually had a cool view you could see the hills um it had really high ceilings it definitely felt bigger but it was still you know an apartment it felt like a box i think that you get a better value with the one-off like condos that people are just renting out so i'm gonna tour some of those as well sometimes these bigger apartment complexes the bedrooms and the living rooms are so tiny um but they're nicer the nicer buildings um it sounds like there's some walkable stuff it's a very central good area i liked it it's a good option she said by october there might be a south facing corner unit one bedroom with a loft in my budget for 32.50 which is like a little more than i'd want to pay but i would do it because my productivity would probably be way better with that loft i have a feeling that i'll end up in a building like this because i like how secure they are like i want to feel safe you know um and also they're more likely to have electric vehicle charging sometimes those like one-off condos well i feel like often they don't and i need that <laughs> okay i'm back home i ordered some clothes online let's see so i ordered some jeans which is always risky because who knows if they'll fit but i like the asymmetrical thing here they're just like this is a kind of sheer zebra printed uh like button up that i think would be a cute swimsuit cover up for like a black swimsuit and i'm doing a video where i test out resort pass so i feel like this would be like cute to wear in the video this is a set brown pants and like a tank that looks pretty cute <clears throat> i got this green dress rolling stones t-shirt Okay, this is a skirt that is really, really sheer. Um, hmm. Um, I ordered this skirt. I thought it would look cute in Palm Springs. This is just a white tank top that they showed with a few outfits that looks good. So this is just a little card holder, kind of a crocodile print. My wallet is way too big for my bag and it's also kind of broken so I'm definitely going to be switching everything over to this little guy. It's like perfect size. I love how small it is so you can see where your ID is and I've been a little disorganized so this will be good for me. Okay and then I got these shorts which I think are kind of fun. Um, yeah I don't know I feel like this these could be cool. They might be. Who knows? We'll see. I also got these kind of chunky sandals 
they're pretty basic i guess they kind of look like a birkenstock but i think a little bit cuter because they're like honestly they're like these shoes but a sandal version and then some white ones my feet always hurt and these looked like they're really thick with like good arch support so i thought they would be good to just throw on okay so here is this not the most flattering i feel like but i mean it could be comfy to wear at home so here's this one i feel like the skirt is kind of cool i don't really have anything like this skirt okay, and here is the green dress the color is kind of cool the jeans are a little big so i don't know probably not going to keep them but i do think that they're cool i like how they're kind of like asymmetrical um, and I do like this little zebra thing. I think it's cute. It's fun. Yeah, I like the little like button up trend where they're just like small little shirts. I think that looks cute. Dang, my hair is frizzing up. Here are the shorts. I know they're kind of different. They're kind of funky, um, but they actually are super comfy. They're like stretchy. All right, I am assembling a cheese board. I got three different breeze honey goat well oh wait three different goat cheeses and blueberry vanilla my masterpiece so i am hosting tonight cheese board and wine for some new and old friends good morning just drinking coffee and writing in this workbook thing. I'm talking quietly because my roommates are sleeping. At our house, the noise really drops. Okay, I'm done with my run. I'm getting ready for the day. I have a call in a bit about making merch for the airbnb i had an idea a while ago i thought it would be really cool to make like crew necks that say racket club resort with like little tennis rackets on them embroidered i feel like it would look so cool so yeah i found this company that could do it so we'll see if you guys would be interested in that i know i mean i think they'd be cool i don't know like hopefully people would want them too um especially if you're staying at the airbnb but yeah we'll see i really feel like i need to just get out of the house today um to focus better so i'm gonna go to second home and edit i do have a couple things to edit not a ton and then a few things to plan out emails to respond to things like that and i feel like if i'm here at the house i'm just gonna go crazy getting distracted actually just getting a couple more b-roll shots first before this call All right, heading over to second home. Hopefully I can focus more. I actually didn't have a call today, it's tomorrow. The Invisalign video is basically done. I just need to add a couple more things like music. Sometimes adding music though can take so long to find the right song. Okay, so I got back home. I still was having a difficult time focusing there. I've just had a hard time the last few days, like getting motivated and stuff. I'm FaceTiming Monica as I walk, trying to figure out my life. So later this day, I started filming a video that I'm doing about Resort Pass where I try out different hotel pools. So me and my friend Kevin tried the first one. This is the Sunset Tower pool. So I just got a bunch of B-roll shots and stuff. I totally forgot to vlog though. So just throwing in this B-roll. It was a beautiful pool area. So nice, such a nice time. And I did actually get in the water because I'm testing out the temperature for each of the pools in this video. Okay, it is currently, it's like 1 p.m. on Thursday. I have Lauren here with me today. Hey. Um, I guess if you're newer to this vlog channel, before um, 
I moved to this house. Lauren is my old roommate, so she was in a good amount of my vlogs. Yeah, so we're filming today a video where I took a bunch of clothes that I don't want anymore to Buffalo Exchange, Crossroads, and Wasteland to see which would offer the most for the clothes. It was kind of awkward to do because I would give them the clothes and then be like, oh, um, can I just get a quote and like t shop them around or whatever? And they do not want you to do that. They were like, we might not be able to offer the same amount, but I was like- Except for the last place. They were, yeah. they were nice about it. Yeah, so I guess stay tuned for that video. Okay, so we filmed everything, more B-roll shots of like the shopping stuff. And now we are going to the next resort pass pool to film at. So let's head over there. I'm excited. This is like the most fun thing to film because yeah, it's like, great idea. get some shots, but also like in a beautiful location and it's just nice. How are the drinks? How's the food? Mm -hmm. How are the prices of it You should get the same thing or like close to the yeah. same thing each time. The other one I got rosé, but I'm like, I feel like I should get like a cocktail or whatever. Okay, we just got to the hotel and you self park, you can self park here, it's $14 so you do have to pay more for the parking. Cool lobby. Alright, got the room key. Whoa, this is so cool. Fun deck. We should play hooky more during the love the vibe of this hotel. It's very LA, very cool. Love it. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe. That'd be cool. I love strip towels. And there's the pool that I went to yesterday. Okay, this pool is definitely colder, but you get used to it. I actually feel good now. And we're in the shade. Okay, we're getting some shots and we're gonna get we're gonna try the drinks now. I love this rooftop the music. This is fun Okay, so we are heading out now. This pool is actually open pretty late for a resort pass pool This one is open until 9. The one I went to yesterday. They said it was only open till 5 but it ended up being open till 6 So a lot of them are open until you know the afternoon, but this one is open pretty late. It's definitely more people a little busier um the other one was more relaxing, but this one was more like fun. So that's the vibe. And the view here is so cool because on this side, you get the hills. Then on the other side, you can see like downtown to West Hollywood. It's so cool. It's really cool. I love the view. Good morning. It is Friday. I'm looking at my footage. I shot a bunch of stuff yesterday on the so on the <laughs> on the Sony A7S III. I don't know if I had it on the best settings though, and it looks good. It looks really vibrant, but I don't know. It doesn't look as like sharp and documentary style as the GH5 to me. Like I don't know. I don't think I had it on the best settings because I see people using this camera on YouTube, and it looks so so good. But this I'm like, eh. I will mess around with it and then I'll cut together some footage so you guys can see. Got some video edits done and now I'm gonna go for a run. Feeling pretty good today. I'm not like I'm freaking out too much over what I'm doing with my life. Like sometimes I just stop and think and I'm like, I really could just take an entire year off and do nothing and it would be fine, but I would never let myself do that. Like I think I would get so bored. I wouldn't even really enjoy taking a whole year off. I would I would want to take a whole year to like maybe do something else, but just to like chill, I would get just so bored, I feel like. So I just got a bunch of the same shot basically with the Sony and the GH5. And I just really wanted to like the Sony better because the autofocus is amazing. But I think I still like the GH5 quality better. But I'll put it in this vlog. You guys let me know which you like better. So here was using the GH5, no color correction. It was just... You know, it's really crystal clear. And then this is with the Sony. It looks pretty similar. You can't tell that much here. This is using the Sony. I think it's just a little brighter looking. And then the GH5, personally, I think looks more cinematic. Okay, now I'm gonna actually go for a run now. Turn the camera rental. 
This is your reminder to drink water. Okay, camera rental is ready to go back. That was fun to test out. However, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing the A7S III. So, I don't know. I loved the autofocus. The autofocus was amazing. It made it a lot easier to shoot. But uh, the side-by-side, -side, I think I like the GH5 better. But let me know what you guys like. It's possible that I just didn't have it on the best settings too because I used it for like a day and a half. And I mean, sometimes it can take a while to really figure out your camera and like what looks the best. Okay, to the camera store. Okay, now I seriously need to wash my hair. I have a lot of stuff to edit after that so we'll get to it so nice when i have the house to myself i seriously love it i'm like trying to figure out what to wear to this wedding i think i'm gonna wear this dress because it's a pretty formal wedding it's black tie optional so this isn't like this isn't like a full-on evening gown, but I haven't ever worn it yet, and I think it's like really a cool dress, so I think I'm gonna wear this. It's really comfortable too. It's from Revolve. I've had it for a while and I've never worn it. Never had anything to wear it to yet. Okay, I'm so tired from this week in general, from filming yesterday and everything, so I'm having more coffee. Um, did not sleep well, like any night this week, I did not. So I'm just gonna finish packing. Okay, I'm recording on my phone, just a video. All right, I am ready to go. Time for a little road trip. I probably won't vlog a ton at this wedding, but I'll get a few clips because it's gonna be insane. The coolest wedding probably that I've ever been to. Like, just from what I've heard, it's gonna be amazing, and I'm really excited. Okay, we're embarking on the road trip to Santa Barbara. And Lauren, you've never been to Santa never Barbara. Never been right? to yeah. Santa Barbara. So excited. You're gonna love it. It's so pretty there. How many times have you been? Um, like two. Yeah? Not a ton. Matt was saying it was like kind of bougie. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's nice as bougie. It's kind of like Newport Beach vibe. Ooh, we yeah. love that. So we're picking up Lauren's boyfriend and oh, I got some like knockoff liquid IV that they had yes. at CVS. It's I'm a not, wedding, so you know. Not what? trying to be hungover. No. Oh no. So got some little road trip snacks. Good call. Oh my God, I like so, didn't think about that. Yeah, I'm like a little bit hungry. We stopped at the classic road trip spot in and out I'm pretty sure I only ever come here on road trips. Okay, I just got into my room and it's so cute. It's all beachy. Uh, this hotel was not that expensive, so I kind of expected it to be like more basic, but it's pretty cute. And it has, a, those e AC things work really well, I've found. So I'm gonna get ready. There's like a cocktail hour thing tonight. Get ready, I'm probably not gonna vlog a lot later, but I'll get a couple like B-roll shots of the whole area. So I'm changing out of this dress to this jumpsuit that I have not worn in so long. I don't know if you can really, really, no, you can't really see, but I just love wearing red. I think it looks really cool. It's bold and fun, and yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Okay, I am back editing this vlog and I wanted to say thank you to everyone that left a comment on my last vlog talking about being burned out. I feel like I got so many comments from you guys that were so nice to hear about feeling burned out and how, you know, it's it's normal. It happens to a lot of people. I mean, pretty much everyone if you do something long enough. And I've already been feeling a little bit better getting back in my routine. I realized that traveling so much really does take a toll you feel like i mean at least i felt like i wasn't even living in la i was kind of living in palm springs and i'm going here and there for videos and i was like where even is my home so it felt weird at first to be back here in la i felt super off and um yeah i just took some time to actually like hang out with friends and see people and like <laughs> 
you know, not stress about it. I still definitely need to figure out my living situation and stuff and I'm still considering like all options. I toured that place. I have looked at putting my stuff in storage and doing something different. I mean, I don't know, but I'm not as freaked out about it right now. <laughs> I know I still have some time to figure it out and I actually feel like I enjoyed like working on videos the last couple weeks and I felt a little bit better. I've been working out a lot more too. I feel like that helps a lot. It always helps boost my mood personally. Like I have been feeling way better. I feel like a lot of it is from that. So don't worry about me too much. I'm not like every day feeling so so burned out. It's really like some days are just more difficult than others with motivation and I think that burnout take these out i think like i said i think burnout is pretty normal i definitely experienced it before with youtube i don't think it necessarily means you need a full-on career change it could mean that but i think it means switching things up that's why i rented that camera i've been trying to film with more people and just trying to like reach out to more people to collaborate and stuff because i just have realized that's it's a lot more fun that way like youtube doesn't need to be all just me all the time that is going to be it for this vlog because it was like multiple days in one kind of long so i'm not making any like rash decisions now you know in a day in one vlog but i think in the next couple months i'll be kind of making some changes and figuring things out and i feel a little more comfortable with that than i did like a week ago just kind of realizing like you know Whatever I decide, it's gonna work out. Like it's gonna work out either way, it just might be a little bit weird at first. So yeah, feeling better. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.